Hare Krishna. This is the third lesson of Splash Madanga Learning. In the last lesson, we learned how to play the advanced version of Khe Kheti Gidha Ge Dha Ge Dha Dha Ta 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 And the advanced version was like Kha Kha Kheti Gidha Ge Dha Ti Ge Dha Dha Ta Ti 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 Ta that was the advanced version. So in the third lesson, you will be learning how to play Dha Gite Te Nage Dhanna. This mantra is called the Father Mantra. And that's just its name. So let's start. So first how you... Uh, you divide it into two parts. Each part has four beats. So in total there's eight beats. So... First it goes dha, so a ge over here, and a ta, a dha, that's the first one, then a ge, the normal ge, so dha, gi, and this one is called dha, gi, but it, uh, like you can say ge also, dha, ge, so dha, gi, and then it's the three fingers closed on the on the right side there and then te te is like a k and t so te so again I'll just play it once ta gi te te wait I said te wrong so te is actually um da and uh k so da gi te te so again te te is a da da and k so then you add that first part together da gi te te so this is how it sounds like. Ta gi te te. 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 So we can do it a little bit faster. So now we can go a little bit more faster. See, uh, in, in the Kirtan, it usually, the high speed usually goes, uh, like I'm just going to play the full mantra for now. In Kirtan, the uh, high speed usually goes like... So, you can practice in that speed also. And we are going to do that in the end, we are going to combine it all together. And in the second part... A second part is like, uh, it's called, it's like na ge dhen na. So the first na, the first na is actually a te. Most of the places the na is used as a ta. But in this place the na is used as a ti. So it will be na, then ge. And then a new beat, then. 
So then is going to be the same thing as ta. So open in the left side and ta. So then and then na the the last na uh, the last beat of the mantra which is na that na will actually be the real ta. So it's going to be one ta. Now you can combine that ag uh, up together. Na ke then na. Na ke then na. So we can play that in the slow, fast, I mean, slow, medium, fast beat now. Na ke then na. 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 Now we can go a little bit uh, faster in the medium speed. Na 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 Now we can go in the fast speed. Na 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 So now we can combine it all together uh, and this is how it sounds like So now let's do it in the uh, three speeds, slow, medium, and fast. So. So it will be. Tagi det. No, wait. Tagi det. Nage tenna. Tagi det. Nage tenna. Tagi When you play this mantra in the kirtan, dagi te te nagi te na, and that's and that's and this this speed is mostly used because uh, most of the time you play in this speed in the kirtan. <laughs> Tena get in, Nagi, the 
that's that's where we are going to stop and also i wanted to add one thing and i just wanted to say this mantra is only used in medium speeds of the kirtan so when you are when you are when you are playing this mantra in nursing arti uh, you sh you should only play it in the part where you say tava kara kamala vare na kham adbhuta shringa so in that part uh, when when you are singing that you should play that mantra because uh, it fits good in that part and also in the medium speeds of the kirtan so that's it for today's lesson hare krishna thank you for watching like and please like and like and subscribe and share the video hare krishna